Seth Rollins has just lost to Kevin Owens in their battle in the main event of Raw for the right to host Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania. Raw has gone off the air now, but Rollins is alone in the ring and he's walking around ringside aimlessly. He doesn't have a direction towards WrestleMania and he's completely dejected. He walks up the ramp and back to the backstage area and he looks over, but he sees a figure that's not picked up by the camera and he he asks this person, what the hell are you doing here? They don't reply, but Seth looks at the camera and he says, stop rolling right now. The next week on Raw, Rawlins is upbeat. He's in another outrageous outfit. He's walking towards the ring, but he gets stopped backstage by Corey Graves, who asks him for an interview, and Seth says, absolutely, I'd love to, Corey. Graves asks him straight up, who was the person you were talking to last week? Seth, in classic Seth style, laughs. He says, Corey, hey, don't even worry about it. Everyone's going to find out in due course. Actually, I'm planning on letting everyone know tonight and then Seth says Corey I'm in a great mood I've got plenty of time do you have any more questions and then Graves says well actually yeah you don't currently have anything set for Wrestlemania which for Seth Rollins is completely unheard of do you have plans to change that Seth laughs again he says Corey relax it's fine I know I said last week that I had a plan I had an idea it didn't work out it kind of messed things up between me and Kev but the person I spoke to last week, they always have a plan. Seth walks off, and Corey's left a little bit confused and looking a little bit concerned. And later that night, Kevin Owens is in the middle of a match against Austin Theory because he demanded to Vince earlier in the night that he face Austin in the ring tonight. And Vince said yes, but it was Austin Theory instead of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Owens naturally wins the match and Rollins comes down and he says, he wants to apologize for sticking his nose in Kevin's business. He shouldn't have tried to challenge him for the spot at WrestleMania. They're best friends. Owen says it's fine. Just don't try and screw things up again, Seth. Seth promises that he won't, and he's got a massive announcement. And Kev, you should stick around to hear it, because this is absolutely enormous. Owen says, no way, man. I've got a rattlesnake to focus on. And he leaves. Rollins says, well, that's fine, but you're missing out. I'm glad that everybody's here tonight because this is going to be great. Seth says, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited. I'm so pumped up. I can't even tell you. That famous music rings throughout the arena and there is no doubt who it is. Triple H has returned to Monday Night Raw. The person Seth Rollins was referring to was the game, his mentor, someone who always has a plan. The crowd is exploding, they're all on their feet. Triple H walks to the ring and Seth Rollins couldn't be happier. But instead of sharing in Seth Rollins' joy, Triple H speaks directly to his face and he says, what the hell are you doing? This isn't what I told you to do. As I said to you in private last week, I've been watching your descent here on Raw and honestly, it's a travesty. Seeing your hopes of being at WrestleMania dashed and seeing your run towards the biggest show of the year become a nightmare, it kept me up at night. So I had to step in. I had to try and reinstate that ruthless nature in you because I, like a lot of people, I see more in you, Seth. You're not a goofball. You're not the drip god. You're not this. You're the architect. You're the opportunist who had the balls to leave the safety net of the shield and go out on your own. You cashed in money in the bank in the main event of WrestleMania. You're Seth Rollins. You aren't this. And this is going to get you nowhere. You need to focus. You're more than this. And I'm going to bring that out in you. So tell me, why are you out here acting like that again after I clearly told you to focus? Stop messing around. We're going to rebuild the throne. And we'll sit on it once again. 
So come with me. Stop messing around. We don't have much time to get you to WrestleMania to make an impact. Stop looking up at the stars. And start thinking about turning your next opponent into dust. Focus. Later in the night, we see Triple H talking to Seth Rollins again backstage. And he says, Seth, I can't have any more distractions like tonight. We can't see you diverting your attention. But I do see a distraction that needs to be taken care of. Kevin Owens. Seth looks completely confused. He says, Owens, he's my best friend. He's had my back the whole time. And Triple H snaps at him and says, no. That's something the old Seth would say. That's something the drip god would say. You're the architect now. You know what to do, and you know what to do it with. You trust me, right? Seth says, yeah, I trust you, of course. Triple H says, well, next week, get it done. The next week on Raw, we see Seth Rollins pacing around backstage. This time, he's not in a colorful suit. No more drip god. Rollins is in the famous black suit. He seems more focused, but he also seems very conflicted. Rollins is stopped by Triple H again backstage, and Triple H says, Seth, what the hell are you doing? Why aren't you out there doing what I said? The reason you don't have a match or anything at WrestleMania at the moment is pretty simple. You're undesirable, Seth. You're undesirable to them right now. I'm trying to make you undeniable. Focus! Rollins, getting increasingly angry, storms off. Has it worked? Has Triple H finally gotten to him? Rawlins storms to the ring. Kevin Owens is in the middle of another match. And Rawlins bursts in. He disrupts the match. First he takes it to Bella. He gets rid of him. And then he turns his focus to Kevin Owens. He picks up Kevin Owens. And he nails him with a very familiar move. He nails him with a pedigree. He looks at the downed Owens. He walks over to the apron. He goes underneath the ring. Just like the words of Triple H, Seth Rollins knew exactly what to do and what to do it with. He pulls out the sledgehammer, then walks over to the already downed Owens, waits for him to get to his feet, and boom! Lays out Owens with the famous sledgehammer. Waiting at the top of the entrance is Triple H himself looking very pleased. Seth Rollins leaves a downed Owens and while still holding the sledgehammer walks to the top of the ramp and having followed Triple H's orders Triple H then drops a bombshell. He says he's pulled some strings. Seth, you got a match at WrestleMania. I've spoken with Vince and Vince is going to give you the chance to shine. It's an open challenge. Vince has said, we are open for business and whoever wants to step up can take their shot. What did I tell you? I always have a plan. So Rollins now has a match at WrestleMania. It's set in stone, but the opponent certainly isn't. So it's WrestleMania Dallas, Seth Rollins is here for the open challenge. He's getting ready, he's getting warmed up. The crowd waits with anticipation. They think they know exactly who it's gonna be, but we hear some music and it's Kevin Owens. Seth looks concerned. Owens storms out through the curtain. He's supposed to be confronting Stone Cold Steve Austin later in the night, but he wants revenge on Rollins for attacking him. But before Owens can even reach the ring, he's cut off by Triple H. Triple H again strikes him with the sledgehammer. Owens is down and Triple H continues to just repeatedly smash him with the sledgehammer. He then picks him up and to add salt into the wound, Triple H delivers a pedigree.
And Triple H throws him over the barricade and stands waiting with the sledgehammer. And he looks down the barrel of the camera and he says, Tell me that isn't all you've got back there. We've rebuilt the throne. Are people really just going to sit there and wait for us to sit on it without any contention? Is this really all you've got? Rollins looks on. Triple H is standing defiantly. And then... A WrestleMania moment for the ages. The crowd explodes. We have just witnessed the return of Cody Rhodes to WWE. The roof comes off the building. Rhodes comes out. The walls of the arena are shaking. Rhodes is staring right at Triple H and Rollins in the ring. He walks to the side of the stage though and everybody's a little bit confused including Triple H and Rollins. But as Cody returns to the top of the ramp, what is he holding? Well of course he's holding a sledgehammer. Cody walks down the ramp holding the very weapon that Triple H has wielded for years. The very weapon that Cody used to smash the throne in AEW. Cody says to Triple H, I hear you've rebuilt your throne. Well, I'm here to smash it again. As the two are staring down and the crowd's going crazy, Seth Rollins, who is now the ultimate opportunist that Triple H brought out in him, nails Cody with a dive, knocking him down, and the fight is on. This doesn't seem to be a match anymore. This is far more personal than that. Rollins and Rhodes are going toe-to-toe -to -toe inside the squared circle, trading shots in the middle of the WrestleMania ring. The crowd is going absolutely crazy, and Rhodes eventually gets some separation on Rollins, but he's not alone for long. Cody is able to turn the tables and land a massive lariat on Triple H. Cody, wielding the sledgehammer, goes over to the game and boom! He nails the game with his own weapon of choice. Triple H in so much pain, he's forced to roll to ringside to try and retreat. But Rawlins is doing anything but. Rawlins nails Cody with a drop kick, but then he gets up to his feet. He's working on instinct. Rawlins is looking for a pedigree, but Cody spins him around and boom! A crossroads is nailed in the middle of a WrestleMania ring. But Cody is far from done there. He wants to rub even more salt in the wound because this is deeply personal. Cody picks him up, hooks both arms, and wham! He nails a pedigree in spite of Triple H. Cody leaves the ring having left two men laying he picks up the dreaded sledgehammer. Cody, with the sledgehammer in hand, walks to the top of the WrestleMania ramp. The live sold out crowd is losing their minds as Cody turns around and he has one last parting message for everyone. How about we start another revolution?